Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. In today's vid, we get to finally test out the videotape. Because recently there was a bug fix and the videotape, as far as I'm aware, is actually functioning properly now for the first time since it's been reworked, which means I don't have to test with arts, we don't have to control it, I can just go into pubs with this add-on, and, well, this... I think we'll do this later, actually. I think we'll start off with Sketch. Which, whenever a reverse uh, this is the one that lets me see their auras when they're on gens, basically. When a survival with a bear trap works on a gen, I see their aura. So I'll run these two together for now, then I think we'll start with this. But this is the first time where I can go into pubs, use these two add-ons, versus randos, and we'll see how it plays out. Kind of excited, kind of interesting to see how I've, how this plays. I've never used this before, even on the stream, just haven't used it. Never used this. Let's have a look at how it plays. And we start with Haddonfield, which is actually quite, I think, quite a good map to have this insane early game pressure on. So everyone's got a helmet on. I have one helmet due to my sketch add-on. I feel like this is the perfect game to have this early pressure. I just have to do something with it, which is a bit difficult when they spawn next to a building with a window of that obscene amount of strength. Will they get their helmets off or will they do gens? Well, we know the answer there. They're not doing gens, we'd see them. Which means they're getting their helmets off, which means we check boxes. That window being next to that box is disappointing. To say the very least. I don't believe this will be the strongest combo in the world. I think... Rule set 2 is far, far, far stronger than this combo. We will try out both. I'll try out rule set on the second game. I have another helmet at the very least, so I will be applying that to whoever I catch without a... Uh... Okay. We'll be applying that to whoever I catch. Honestly, I just like how different this combo is. It's just a different, different style, isn't it? Very, very different, isn't it? That gen's being worked on. Well, I will admit, it is quite hard to tell what gen's being worked on during this Halloween event. A yellow aura plus an orange aura is quite hard to tell apart. Baker's killing himself on hook for some reason. Oh dear. Running into a wall. She did not need to drop that pallet and she knows it. For some reason she got behaviored or she just ran into the wall. I don't know how, how that could possibly happen, but it did. Fake left, go right. Beautiful. There's a bill somewhere. God knows where he is. But he is the only one right now that can possibly be doing a gen. Yeah, Jake has decided that he doesn't want to play the game. I don't know why. Some people, I guess. Cool, Jake. Thanks for, thanks for playing, I guess. So this add-on has that effect on people, It does it? It makes them want to kill themselves. I see. If that's what you want when you play killer, then I guess play with those. Let's chase Bill. Now, here's the question. Is do we just trap Bill straight away? I think... In this scenario, with it being a 3v1 at 5 gens now, because Jake's a salty little... I think in this scenario, I will... Trap Bill. But in normal scenarios, I think I would wait until a couple more helmets have popped off. I can see that gen being worked on. That one there is being worked on by a helmeted survivor. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I think this scenario I will. Ah! 
Oh my god, he locker dived and then dead hearted. Oh my goodness me, this guy. Okay, there's only one helmet in play, so I think I actually would put this helmet out anyway. This guy must have just got really lucky with his saw boxes. It's a shame that that Feng, or whoever it was, the, the, yeah, the Feng, tanked the hit. Like that. Bit frustrating, really. Because now I don't get this helmet active with that gen that's, that Feng's about to do. Yeah. Although Feng did turn her own helmet on. There is that. Bill gets a second helmet. And now we have to find the Mickey. I don't really want to chase Feng. Just because... Well, she's the one doing helmets right now. Only one that... Actually, we should probably just wait by the hook. The only one that can possibly save this is Mickey. Yep, there she is. Wait, Feng came for a save? Enjoy your uh, borrowed time, I guess. I mean, I'm going to get a free hook on you if you're injured. Oh, you're just going to W key into, this, into the House of Pain. It, oh, okay. I thought that I was getting like aim locked onto the pallet then, but it turns out she needs to outplayed me. There's no pallet here, it's already gone. No, 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 no. No, no, sir, Fang. You do not, do not, do not get that win though, I'm afraid. It's a shame that guy DC'd actually, because you can't really tell how that add-on's going to play out now, can you? Though, mind you, you do get the general idea, and we will be trying the even stronger combo next round. Of where you can't see boxes, and I feel like I should run Ruin Undying with that. As much as I don't like Ruin Undying. Forcing them off of generators, specifically do helmets, and then the gens regress while they're not working on them. I feel like is the play. I feel like you'd be silly to use this build with that add-on. The build they have right now is that add-on. I feel like you'd be silly. There's no point. The add-ons don't match the build. I know it's a sweaty build, but it's a sweaty add-on combo. So I think desperate times go for desperate measures. So I'm gonna completely reshuffle my build for next time. And I, Yeah, ruin undying. And then we'll, uh, Rule set, videotape, and then um, I won't run Tinkerer, but I will run Ruin Undying. I'm trying to think what other two perks would be. I'll, I'll make a build after this round. Uh, interrupt this person doing the box. Fake right. Go left. Go left. How on earth is that considered tunneling? Goodness me, DS needs another rework, doesn't it? Why DS has a timer and isn't just until the killer hooks someone else, I'll never know. Yeah, I really wish DS got another rework. DS becomes not one-time use. How's this for a DS rework? Let me know what you think in the comments. DS becomes not one-time use. So you get D-strike every single time. However, the DS disables on all the current parameters and it also disables if the killer hooks somebody else. Which means if the killer has hooked someone else. You're not being tunneled. Therefore, you don't get your D-strike. DS is specifically anti-tunnel. If the killer is tunneling, you get D-strike. If the killer has hooked somebody else, the killer is not tunneling you, and you do not get your perk. I literally chased that bill for 20 minutes. 
hooked him, went back to Feng, and then Feng destruct me. I feel like that's a much fairer thing. And then in that scenario, DS is also not one-time use. So if the killer just wants you out of the game, you get D-Strike every time the killer tunnels you. Which I think is way fairer. Much, much fairer all round. The 60 seconds is gone. It's now forever until the killer hooks someone else. But that means, Josh, if the killer's being really efficient, he can just chainsaw back and forth between hooks as a billy. Yes, it does. But is he tunneling? No, he's not. Because he's hooked someone else. Tunneling to me is not hooking anyone else and going for you. If the killer's hooked someone else and he goes straight back to you, he's not tunneling because he's hooked someone else. So uh, that's a much fairer D-strike. I'd love that to be the actual perk. It's never going to happen because it's BBD and balance changes happen once every 20 years. But, uh, you know, that's my that's my two cents on D-strike. I think it's way fairer and I think it needs to happen as soon as possible. Tell you what, if that Jake hadn't killed himself, I reckon they could have actually got somebody out of this game alive, because this map, this is one of the worst versions of Haddonfield I've ever seen. Haddonfield normally is quite barren and void of all pallets. This version of Haddonfield has a lot of wood. So I, I'm fairly sure that if that guy hadn't just pussied out of the game, they would have absolutely got at least somebody out. I don't think it would have been a, 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 a four-man escape. I think it would have still been a 3k at least. But I think somebody, one of the four, would have probably escaped. Was that really worth it in a 2v1? Was that honestly worth it in a 2v1? I don't think it was. Because Feng has got that gen done, but if, do you honestly think that I won't just hook Feng right now? You know? Like, yeah, wasn't worth it if you ask me. I'd have just run me longer and let this person get the gens done. Yeah, let's change the build. Let's change up the build, let's run Rune Undying. Potentially Surveillance as well. And then uh, we'll run the stronger add-on combo, and we'll we'll go again. Wow, this is gonna be a tougher map, isn't it? Grim Pantry. I do have Ruin Undying. Um, I saw her because she spawned next to a totem. I have a. That's a really bad totem spawn. That's a better one. Uh, they've all got helmets on, and none of them can see the boxes. That's the scenario we're at right now. Now, here's the thing. I've got Ruin Undying, so any time they try and work on a gen, great. But if I see them, then they're screwed. I know where that totem is. It's in the corner. E to outplay. Okay, so now they got a choice. So they do the gens, or do they get their helmets off? But they can't see the boxes, and it's swamp as well. So the boxes are actually really, really spaced out. Let's see how they play this out. Let's see what happens. She knows my totem's there. That's a rubbish totem spawn. Disappointing, to say the very least. That's my totem spawn. That's a appalling totem spawn. She's going to disconnect. Wow, two for two with disconnect so far. Yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah, she doesn't want to play. They're on the totem. She won't get that totem in time. Yeah, she's killing herself. Two for two games. Yep, 
There's a disconnect. She got saved. Is this perhaps the strongest build in the game right now? At least one of the strongest builds in the game. There's nothing they can realistically do, is there? They can't work on gens because of the ruin and dying. And the helmets. They can't see the box locations. Nia can't get the totem. Blessing prevented. She was trying to bless that. See, I wonder if... She'd have tried to cleanse that rather than bless that. She'd have got away with it. Uh, what? Okay, we've got to try this again. I'm going to do it again. Let's have three games in this one. Let's try this again, because that was another game. Two games in a row now, we've not really had a chance to test this. Although that's two 4Ks in a row with MMR. The next game is probably going to be eSports Professionals, and we'll take a massive L. But, you know, getting an L will at least show the disparity between games, I suppose, with this build. Right? Force it over here in case the hatch spawns here. Nope. Okay, now we'll force her back. Dead hard validation. She's running this round, uh, round this bit because she knows I can't dash that bit. Why I've got enduring. In fact, I actually caught her because of enduring then. Hmm. Well, that's two games in a row that have ended like that. Yeah, let's try this combo again. On, uh, uh, we'll just do it again. We need to we need to see how it plays out. I want to see how it plays out. We'll just do it again. If I don't do it again, the entire comments will be like, well, you just put DC games in, so we'll do it again. But I promise this is the first two games I've played of it. <laughs> the third game is going to be really awful, and I'm going to hate it, but what choice do I have? Let's go again. Ronfields. Um, I think this is a bit of a worse map, actually. I think we got quite lucky with the previous one, because, you know, swamp totem spawns are... Well, the way they are. Although we did have quite a bad totem spawn last round. Can't exactly say I'm a fan of this build. Not, you know. But, uh... If I'm going to test it fairly, I do need to do this. Because I know for a fact everyone's just going to be like, Oh, well, you didn't... You're not giving the Alan a fair chance. You can't just say it's bad or whatever. If you're not going to run the build with it, so... We'll run the build. We'll, uh... We'll do the thing. No one can see boxes right now. Nia has, uh, fallen for the mind game. We'll, uh, I don't really want a basement hurt, to be honest. It's a big waste of time. Look at her. Definitely needs to be better feedback that you've lost a hex perk now with these totems being in the game. Definitely needs to be better feedback. The lack of feedback is actually pretty shocking, really. Uh, a gen's been done. Didn't expect that. suppose that's the ruin doing that. Four active helmets right now.
Yeah, really didn't expect a gen to turn on. Cool, just keep going. We know that that's a boon perk, because that's where our old hex perk was. to the next person. He's still searching. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I didn't get... <laughs> for a second I thought I got double validated then. Didn't get double validated, but I did get the validation once. Two helmets left. I know where you are, Fang. I was just trying to make you cut back. E to outplay. Choose the event hook. Partly because it's the event hook, partly because it also blocks Nia from this saw box. Nothing Nia can do there. Well, Nia could have hid base on the timer on her helmet. D strike. I mean, that's fine. I'm still here, so it's not like she can do anything to prevent that. Why she's teabagging? Cause uh, it's a free hit. Yeah, I'm not really sure what she's doing. To be honest, not really sure what she's playing at. This is a free down if she's not careful. Okay, didn't expect balance landing. Really? Shouldn't have started self-caring. I know you've got a boon totem, but you shouldn't have done it. Right, all the helmets are off now. That's our pressure. That was the pressure we get. This game seems to be going a little bit better in terms of actually having a game, so we can see how it kind of plays out. And basically, as you can see, it's a very, very oppressive start to the game. Especially with the Ruin and the Undying. Do I recommend using this build? No. No, I don't. You know what I feel about perks, these sort of perks and this sort of build, but... It needs to get tested. E to outplay. It needs to get tested. It needs to be shown off. I'm not going to use Tampa Timer. I'm drawing the line there. Uh, but, f you know, stuff like this, I'll allow it. There's a boon totem down, which means they will get a heal off in about two seconds. Yep, there you go. Two of them are already healed. One boon totem, and that's it. They're fully healed again. Everything's being reset.
God, Ruin really is so strong, isn't it? How is this perk in the game? How on earth is this perk in the game? At the level it's at for so long. I like the rework. I prefer the rework to the old Ruin, but my lord. 200% regression. It is. It's a lot, isn't it? I've got surveillance, so I know where the other person is. Free hit. Because for some reason that was a slow vault. Why is that person here? E to outplay. Come on. Come on, Nia. Stop about. Massive desync. I think she just put a token down to heal herself and then realized that I was right behind her, so she couldn't do it. E to outplay. No, she got balance landing. Oh, she got both, I suppose. Well, that's two games and two 4Ks. In fact, it's three games and three 4Ks, isn't it? Yeah. Videotape is really, really strong, isn't it? I'm gonna take it off and probably never use it ever again but it's in the game it's definitely a different way of playing pig i definitely prefer it to tampered timer it's still like, ludicrously strong especially with rule set i definitely prefer it to timer but uh, yeah I'm, it's still too much for me to use i'm still not going to use it and with my regular build uh, there's no real point in using it is there you wouldn't really use this sort of perk for that kind of build so, yeah, it's in the game. Let me know what you think of it. People are angry. I'm going to give them the GG smile. Because I'm sure that will uh, calm them down. And, uh, you know. At least they're YouTube famous now. Ple following me when I had a mask. You all had masks. You spawned with them on. Do you want me to just go to the corner and wait? I guess, I guess the answer is yes. Uh, let me know what you think of this combo. Make sure to subscribe and like and all of that jazz. And I will catch you in the next one, everybody. Later.